Okay, YouTube, it is good to be back talking to you because I have missed saying hello. And we're gonna talk about a few things and then we're gonna open some boxes. If that sounds interesting to you, I hope that you'll stick around and I will see you right after this. Hi, beautiful humans. I'm Amy, the Rainy Day Shopper. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Depop. I have a TikTok. That's also the Rainy Day Shopper and an Instagram. So if y'all wanna follow me in places, come on over, say howdy and just hang out. I am so glad to be back here. I took a the last week off and I didn't really notify any people instead of accepting a little note on one of my last videos that I was going to be delaying some videos in support of the Black Lives Matter movement and to help amplify melanated voices. This is something that is hugely important to me. I am a firm believer in social justice and in for fighting for rights and in for, I'm so like worried about saying the wrong thing or not getting this right or not expressing what I feel. And so I'm just gonna make mistakes as I make them and I'm not gonna edit them out because, edit them, I'm gonna edit them out just because it's life. And one of the things that has always, you know this, you know that I don't do a really good job of creating a niche and trying to mold myself into a certain aesthetic or a certain something to try to fool people into thinking that I'm interesting enough to follow or engage with. Because frankly, if I can't just be myself and like have folks come over and hang out and chill and learn about reselling and help each other out and just be supportive in a fun community, then there's really no point for me to do YouTube, which may be where we're going, but that's, hopefully we're not there yet. I can't this, okay, they glare. I'm gonna take those off. I can't really see. Ooh. Well, I'll talk about that later. Anyway, so I have always been fascinated with history. I've always studied a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And I have always been, I don't even know how to say it. I've always been passionate about the fact that equality is not something that we have in America and never really have in so many ways, shape and forms. It doesn't mean that I think America is terrible and that I should go back to my own country because, you know, I mean, I'm sure Norway would have me. It's the land of the pale people. It's where I belong. But, um, no, because the cool thing about America, or at least the myth of America, is that we are supposed to have the freedom to disagree with each other and do it in an intellectual and intelligent manner and work together to make things better in our country. That's what we're supposed to do. And again, those of you who are my regulars, I know that you are so supportive and so awesome and just open. I, and I know that you're the people that I kind of want to hang out with and have a coffee or a beer or whatever. A margarita would be so good. Oh my gosh, I have not had a margarita for a couple of years, <laughs> or longer. It's really what happens when you are married to an alcoholic or were married, anyway. So the thing is, how do I come back then and start making these videos about, I'm gonna open some packages and I'm gonna resell some stuff and I'm gonna do this. And, and there's still people in the world who can't just flip a switch and like, oh, let's go back to normal because their normal is not the same as my normal. I have the privilege. I mean, I got this pasty white skin that's all kind of reddish and whatever. And, and I have the privilege of being like, you know what? I don't really want to deal with the fundamental systemic racism in our country this today. I don't want to have to think about it. I'm just going to go thrifting and I can do that because it's pretty easy. And I'm not going to be stopped when I'm out thrifting and, and harassed or have people follow me unnecessarily because of the color of my skin. That's not something I have to deal with. That's privilege. And no one, okay, so the thing is, and I'm pretty sure that most of my people who watch me or who are still watching me or whatever, get the fact that saying that there's white privilege doesn't mean that white folks don't have troubles. Because we all know we have troubles. I mean, we all know that the human existence is kind of stressful right now. And it, I mean, it goes through historical periods where it's worse and better. We kind of thought we were in a, a, a place of better and we never really were, but there was some really good media like marketing kind of trying to convince us that it was all hunky dory. But those troubles that we have, those human troubles that humans have had throughout history, throughout time, throughout centuries, with whatever, those human 
foibles as human, oh, pains, agonies, sadnesses, those things aren't made worse because of the color of our skin. So the color of the skin doesn't make that, that thing that is antagonizing or aching for us or problematic for us. It's not worse because we're pasty or some of y'all have beautiful skin, but I mean, me, I'm just like pasty and red and the gardening, the hands, seriously, when you get older, your hands get spots on them. I don't like that part. I need to start using actually some of the creams that I get, but so this is not like, this is not this whole like white privilege thing is not new to me. I have, let's just say we start, yeah. Anyway, social justice is a thing. And it always has been for me. And I don't talk about it a lot here because it's a reselling channel. I'm supposed to have a niche. And so one of the things that I feel terrible about and, and just like, okay, I'm a schmuck is that it's really easy for me to go through my whole life, especially where I live, which is uh, pretty darn whitewashed. And for very, there's a lot of reasons for that. And you can look up the history of my area and you'll figure out why. Um, but I also can say, well, gosh, I don't really want to talk about that or think about that because I don't want those things happening to me. I don't want, I don't want to be treated that way. I mean, I don't know if you've seen the blue eyed brown eggs experiment from the seventies. It's a really interesting, um, there's another documentary, the 13th, uh, that's out, I think on Netflix right now, but it's also free on YouTube about the 13th amendment. There's some really amazing documentaries that have a lot of information. And I know some of you who care so much about the world around you and are trying to do your best and don't really know what to do with this situation that we're in right now that is amazing. I mean, yeah, the poets have been telling us the revolution's coming for a long time and I frankly hope it's here because I don't wanna go back to being able to numb myself with television and this and that and deny the fact that people I care about deeply, I mean, my friends, my people I've known, people I've respected, people whose words move me to tears, people whose music makes me want to dance, people whose dance moves I want to copy because I want to shake it like that and that and that. I don't want to be able to deny the fact that their existence is made worse and I am profiting by it. Because frankly, I do benefit from the systemic racism in our in our society. Uh, we all do. And I will say that. And, and if you don't know a lot about that and want to ask me questions, I will do my best to answer. I know a lot of stuff, I've studied a lot of stuff. It uh, doesn't mean I'm an expert at anything, but I also just would be happy to talk to you because one of the things that is really tough right now for a lot of black creators, and that's black with a capital B by the way, black creators and influencers and people who are out there in the public more are getting all these questions about how to, how, okay, so I, you, I wanna be an ally, but how do I be an ally? And they're having to do so much emotional work and deal with hundreds of years of systemic racism and all this kind of stuff. And yeah, so this channel is still going to be a reselling channel because that's what I have. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I mean, I throw in other things anyway, because I'm me and I don't really niche well. I mean, that's just, eh. So hopefully you're going to stick around. And I talked a lot of time. Uh, well, not really a lot. Of time. <laughs> there's so much I could talk about, like hours. You know that I could go on for hours and there's so much I would like to say and do. And I also don't want to mess up. Like, I don't want to totally make an ass of, okay, it's part of my language, but I don't want to totally make an ass of myself any more than I normally do on the regular because, ugh. So I'm thinking, well, do I not make any videos? Do I stop making TikToks? Do I stop doing anything that brings... that brings me joy or gives me some outlet to connect to people outside of the space that we're in. Um, and I know people are like dealing with COVID right now. Our town, the local, the local nursing home that has avoided having any cases this whole time, as things are opening up, they have just had multiple cases. Yeah, staff and patients. So, that's our town and we've been going out a little more the grandkids came over to visit this weekend because mom's been 
I was gonna say dying to see them, but that's awkward given her situation. Anyway, uh, you know what I mean? So they came over this weekend to see and they wore masks most of the time. Then mom stopped wearing hers because she's mom and she wants to see them. Um, but there are more cases. And I did give in and go to the thrift store and we'll talk about that because there may be a little haul coming up, but, and I did go to a, 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 an estate sale. We'll talk about that and why and what happened and how I feel about it and what, if any more of that will be coming up, because I don't know. So this is a whole bunch of like 10 minutes of saying, I don't know. I'm going to be trying to do my best to be an ally, to be supportive, to amplify melanated voices, to not just make this performative. Because like, I don't want to be like, oh, look at me. I'm such a good ally. Oh, give me some stars. I'm going to take some pictures. Let me post this on my Instagram. Ooh. You know, I don't care that about that BS. You see my Instagram, it's pathetic and it's okay. Cause I'm like, I don't want it to all be blush pink and beige and look like everyone else. And I don't want to mess up trying to be, to support the people that I really care about who I think are awesome human beings who should never have to face this kind of BS. Never should have had to. And somehow I should have spoken up sooner or done something else, but I was really comfortable not doing that. It's pretty uncomfortable doing this now. So then how do I transition to, hey, we're gonna open some boxes. <laughs> we're gonna open some boxes. So if you just made it through haul that part, thank you. And I can't promise there won't be more because you can't really like squish eons of discrimination and problems in society. I mean, like these societal problems are not new with our civilization. It's nothing new. Like humans have gone through this over and over again. I just wish at some point humans would wake up and learn a lesson and stop repeating history over and over and over. And the only way to do that is to educate and to expand our knowledge and to work to be the best possible humans. And I got to say that the people in power are not the people who are gonna help us do that because they benefit off suffering of others and on pitting groups together in order to easily control the populace. Like it's just a, like a huge tactical thing. I mean, read Machiavelli people, it's like, or other, I mean, there's others, but like, let's just look at the blueprint for like, ugh, anyway. But it has nothing to do. It was like, no, nah, it's just, it's just government. Mm. Or I don't know. I should probably cut that part out. Cause that's a whole tangent. You know, I'm just on a tangent kind of mood and I'm going to try and not do that anymore because we're supposed to talk about reselling. <gasps> oh, okay. And we're going to totally talk. Okay. So I am transitioning. <coughs> oh, and it is, it is pride month for the LGBTQ community. Um, yeah and there's a lot of history there too in fact some of the first people to start the riots at stonewall the protests were black trans women so yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff going on right now we got a pandemic we got protests that desperately need to happen we've got instigators we've got all kinds of stuff so I hope you're doing okay. And for the most part, I'm gonna try and keep this a place where we can come and like hang out together and chill. But for me, hanging out and chilling means talking about important things and I can't bury my head in the sand and leave it there anymore because that's too painful. It doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for the world. So there's gonna be some of it times when I might sneak up on you with some other stuff. Sorry, but not sorry. Hopefully you'll stick around. Oh, okay. We're gonna open some packages and it's gonna be some posh. And this is already like 15 minutes. So we're gonna like, sorry, we're gonna be longer than 25 minutes. Hope you brought snacks, grab a drink. I could use two. I don't really have any, I don't, yeah. Be married to an alcoholic. I used to have to like hide liquor in case I wanted to randomly have a beer. And so I've been married, I've been divorced now, what, two years now? I actually have some expired, like little sparkling alcoholic things I got to try. I've had one, I, I drank the first one after it was expired but just like kind of sits in the fridge cause it can. Anyway, so that's how much I drink right now cause I just, I'm not in the habit cause of situation. Anyway, so maybe more than you need to know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here. Hopefully you're coming with me and you haven't turned off the little thing in my bob or whatchamacallit doohickey yet. But if you have, hopefully you're out finding something else that like makes you happy and helping other people 
like live their dreams or whatever their dreams are. I don't know what the dreams are right now. It's all in transition. So I went to get mail. That was one place I went recently this week. So this week things have been opening up. People have been going out. People are going out before that, but mm. anyway. And I went to the mailbox to pick up my Poshmark orders because I have a few that we're gonna open up here along with some Amazon stuff. Just we'll see what's in there. And there was this cute little polka dot package. It is from Phoenix Curations and I haven't opened it yet. Sorry, Renee, it took me a couple days because the grandkids were here and I was down doing stuff. I just totally burped, I'm sorry, but I'm not editing it out. <sighs> At least if I were drinking, I'd have an excuse to be like so a mess, but I'm just a mess. We're going with it. So I was going to open this up and see what Renee sent. Now Renee um, and Will is not her husband, just a family friend and they have, well, not just a family friend, which is awesome. They have their long family friendship, but Renee and Will have a YouTube channel. I will link it down below again. They do hauls. They're recent resellers. They just started their channel fairly recently. I think it's like what, three, four months ago, maybe? I know at least two, but they're super sweet and super supportive and just like really lovely people. So uh, yeah, you should follow them. I know some of you already have. I know Alicia went over and said hi to them, which was so sweet. You can always count on Alicia to support people in the community and um, do her best to be kind to everyone. Okay, there's a little card. It says my name on it, that's me. I'm Amy. So I don't know what this is. I didn't order anything, I did this. Ooh, it's a t-shirt. So let's see what she says here, hold on. Cute, little wrapping. Do, do, do. Ah! So she said she wanted to find just the right t-shirt and I just see this, so I'm like, here is a t-shirt. I'm gonna open this up and hold on. There's gonna be noise because that's what happens when you open the packages, you all know this. Even though it's been a while, I feel like I'm opening packages, I feel so good. It's the little things. It's mad. It's good. Sassy. Ah! Oh my gosh, that is the perfect t-shirt, Renee. You know I love that. Okay, I, being white though, I have to be careful because let's see what it says. Sassy. Can I read that backwards? Let's see. Uh, lively. I can read bold. I thought it said blood, but there was only one L. Uh, and full of spirits. Okay, better read this way. Ooh, cheeky. One of my favorite words is cheeky. Possessing the attitude of someone endowed with an ungodly amount of cool. She's sassy. Oh my God, that is the sweetest t-shirt ever. I don't know if I want to wear it because I'm, I guess, staying on it or if I want to just frame it. <sighs> That's so nice. Thank you, Renee. That was so sweet of you. I really appreciate it. That's so cute. All right, I love that. My students are gonna love this too. All right, I'm gonna put that over here. Oh, if you don't notice, I am sitting in a different spot. I mean, I'm in the, I've been rearranging. There will be things and stuff and all this stuff and things. All right, I've kind of opened some of these packages, just pulled them up. So we'll start with this order. Uh, this is one of my followers. Let's see, is this Amy? Now I'm gonna put her name here. I'm pretty sure this is her box, yeah. So this is Amy, she follows me on Instagram. She said she was having a sale and you know I like to go and try and shop from you if I can, if you let me know if there's things going on. And she just had some cute stuff in her closet. And this was one of the things. And it's this cute little dress. I don't know the brand, I just thought it was cute. And you know I like odd things, skunk funk. How could I pass that up? But it has, okay like a cockatiel, but it also has on the back a hummingbird. And my farm is Hummingbird Hill. So you know I had to get that. I mean, obviously it wouldn't even fit over part of my booty or the what, no. Um, so I'm not gonna keep it, but I'll resell it. And I think it's silk. Let me double check that just to make sure. Uh, it is a, oh, hello. Yeah, size two, I believe. Designed in Basque country. Spain. Oh, it's polyester. I was so wrong. It is not the silk. Oh, I can wash it then. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Amy's box. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm going to feel like a total doofus, but my phone's here, so I really can't look it up, but I'm just not going to stop because that's just the way I'm feeling. So this is a Maggie Barnes 2X, just a little, 
like tapestry coat. I have to figure out, I may need to move this side here. Little tapestry jacket coat thing. So these I think were all, what, five for 25 or something? So it was a great deal. She was having a sale to clear out. So if you're interested, I don't know if she's still having this sale, but she had some cute stuff. So you should go check her out. I'll link her stuff down below. This is just an Angie little sweatshirt. I mean, not sweatshirt, sweater. But I got this actually, I think from my mom's friend, Connie, uh, who is my mom taught her three of her kids in first grade, second grade. And I think this would look super cute on her. And I think she'll like that. So I think that's where that's going. If it doesn't fit, I'll resell. Let's see. Oh, this is a cute jacket. Okay, this is way tinier than I expected it to be. I mean, I know it's as small, but this is tiny as all heck. So this is just highway jeans, uh, but it is just a cute, cute, cute little tiny itty bitty jean jacket. I swear that does not like, who's gonna fit into that? I don't know, Mary might fit into that. She wears teeny tinies um, or Jet. I haven't seen Jet for a while. If y'all see Jet, tell her hello. I hope she's doing all right. I know she's going a little stir crazy with the um, so that's really cute. Just a cute little jean jacket with the whole COVID thing. Okay, now this I love. You all know I love me the vintage. Terry cloth vintage. Hello. So this is just a cute little zip up jacket. It is by Water Water Everywhere of Miami. So cute. Just this little green, sweet little not even, I don't know if that's a track jacket. It's got this little line across the front that you can see right there. I need to move you back farther. Hold on. Just don't mind me. I haven't really done that. I feel, we'll see how that goes. We'll try there and see if that gives us a little more room. All right, so that box is empty. And then I got this package just picked up when I got Renee's. Well, I mean, I was going to pick up this one and Renee's happened to be there. I didn't know that. I need scissors. Where'd my scissors go? I had scissors. Seriously, folks, I mean, you can't take me anywhere. Take off my glasses now. Hold on. Where'd I put this? Oh, I found them. I don't need my glasses because I found them. <coughs> Allergies. Don't worry. So have you been, I know some of you have been on, I've been seeing these amazing hauls and I have been so, so, oh my gosh. I have been working out systems for listing more, for organizing more and just taking care of business. So things like it's going pretty well. I'm almost to 3000 listings, almost to a thousand sold on Poshmark, which is awesome. And I'm getting more things cross listed to eBay and Depop every day, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, this dress is so cute. So this is, is this a dress? Yes, this is, I don't know. Uh, Vicky and Lucas. It is an extra large new with tags. Um, but look at that cuteness. It's got the lacy sleeves. It's plain black in back. But it's got this really cute, like peasanty embroidery style in the front. It reminds me a little bit of a dirndl, but not quite. But it is, I guess you would call this a sheath because it does nip in at the waist. A shift goes straight down and a sheath does have a little bit of an in. So this, I would say maybe a sheath. And it looks like a little bit of a, not super sure it's a pencil skirt because I'd have to see it on. Uh, but it does seem to go in a little bit at the knees. So it has that, so the pencils will start a little bit at the waist, go out a little bit at the hips and then come like in a little bit down towards the knees. That's super cute, new with tags. And as happens with, it doesn't smell too bad. I'm gonna need to air it out a little bit. Uh, it does have a little string right there that I'll trim. All right, you need to put this stuff where I'm not making a pile of it because you know, stuff. All right. I've got three things in this. This is a brand that's a plus size brand that is quite expensive. Um, EGG, I'm not sure exactly how to say it. Um, it's made in the USA. This is a 1416. And sometimes they do run a little large. I might try this one on because it's got this fun print. So I call it maybe a little tribal, maybe. Um, but they're just super well-made dresses 
really nice fabric. Is this one lined in the skirt? I feel like it's lined. It is lined in the skirt. Um, I'm sure it's poly. Most of her stuff is. Oh, it's a faux wrap. Yeah, it's a faux wrap. It's cute. Hold on. Where are your contents tags? Because you should have contents tags somewhere. Ew, that was not going to be a hit on the hit parade. So anyway, uh, I don't see contents. I'm gonna stop looking now because y'all know the top of my head is not the most interesting thing apart me. At least I hope not because that might explain my subscriber counts. All right, so this is just cute. I think I found, I was looking for this brand particularly just to kind of check and see what was out there. And I found this one was a really good price and I found a couple other things. I put them into a bundle to think about and the person sent me a really good offer. So of course I snapped them up. Um, kind of with the hope that I might wear some things myself. This, like the color on this, hello. Um, this looks like it may have been shrunk. Maybe this is a 3X Petite. And I feel like this may have been washed just looking at it because it's wool, I think. Let me double check if I remember. Yeah, pure merino wool. And it's looking to me like it may be, maybe not, I'll try it on. Um, but it's just, look at that color, it's gorgeous. And then I just love the little scallop detail on the neckline. Otherwise it's fairly plain. I don't see any major snags, holes, anything else. A little minor pilling, but it's Talbot's. You know, it was expensive when it was first out there. And um, I'm gonna have to air that one out or put it in the freezer or both. So I got that on Poshmark, let's see. Are those my two Poshmarks? Oh, those are my two Poshmarks. Let's see what I've got from Amazon. Should I just, you should let me know. Do you want me to open the packages before here's the package? If it just showed me my address, I won't show you that because that would be lame. Um, oh my gosh, there's more wrapping. Do you want me to open these things on like here or before just so they're not so loud? Because seriously, that's quite loud. All right, what did I get? Oh, oh, that's where they are. I got my dad some socks for his birthday. He loves four of those. His birthday's coming up, so I'm just giving him little gifts kind of all throughout the month. He just keeps telling me he doesn't want any presents. I'm like, you're 70, you get presents, deal. Men. All right. And then I got these actually for mom. So I love using these for reselling. The flip-flop toss boards is kind of what I call them. So they open up. This isn't the exact one I had because mine was, let's see. Help, that's awkwardly. Here, I'll hold it like this. So it's like this. Oh, mine has a little, is a little different. Um, so you can fold in, fold in, then fold all the parts and it helps make a nice neat fold and it's a lot faster. Like I was always supposed to use this when I worked in retail, but I never did. But for reselling with folding so many things, this is a, a just, I love them. I have a whole bunch of them on Amazon. I'm not sure I like this as much as the one I got first, but the one I got first was more expensive and it didn't come with this. It's a kid size one. And I know I'm not buying kids clothes, but I do have a bunch to get folded and stuff. And kids clothes are a lot harder to fold neatly because they're so itty bitty and they keep falling out. So I thought I'd get this because mom still wants to put some of the kids clothes in as long as we have them because consignment stores still are kind of iffy. So, all right, what do we got over here? Well, there might be, there might be another Poshmark order, but it's way down at the bottom. I don't know what's in this box. This is to be, okay. Just making sure it's not one of the parents. Amazon. Show, I don't know what's in it. Let's see, shall we? Do, do, do. Um. Oh, oh, I love this stuff. Okay, this is some stuff I got for cleaning. Oh, sorry, my nose itches. You know my nose always itches. Uh, I got these boot, west, boot rescue wipes. I can totally talk. Boot Rescue Wipes. Uh, these are kind of handy for my mom, especially because I don't usually use these. I just use like the leather cleaner or things like that, but it's hard for her to manipulate a whole bunch of stuff. So these are easier for her to grab out and just kind of give a clean. So I like those. I got some more 
uh, shoe fix glue. There are a few things that I just like to, if there's an edge or something, I would like to just glue them down. And the only glue that I have is black glue. I didn't like, it's, it's meant to go on black boots or black shoes. I had clear and I don't want to happen to it. I think Papa might have used it or I don't know. So I want to do this. This is my stain stuff. Let's see. It's S32 spot and stain remover. And actually I found this. Denali was talking about products she uses. I should probably make an affiliate link, but whatever. Go use Denali's and buy some stuff on Amazon. Uh, or, ooh, the poetry of nice. Ooh, or common tags. Anyway, this stuff is really helpful. I like it. It's pretty good stain remover. I, these last a long time. I probably use a little more than I should at a time because I'm an over stain remover. Let's see, you can come down here. We got, what's in this box? Another box, got my scissors. So, oh yeah, like I said, I move stuff around. I'm reorganizing. I mean, like actually organizing, organizing taking so many pictures, listing all the things, relisting a ton still. My sales went up when I started using List Perfectly again and to relist, I don't know. It's so much easier on Poshmark, I mean, it's faster. List Perfectly is not bad, but. Oh, those are Papa's shoes. Okay, the other thing I got Papa or a pair of like shoes. These are Crocs. Cool, I didn't know they came in. So those are his, um, but they're like, I'll show you. Hold on, do they have a zip bag? Oh, they have a zip bag, I'll show you for real. Cause they're not like lame Crocs. Um, if I can open this. But like I said, it's his 70th and I purchased him some shoes a couple years ago and he really liked them and now they don't make the kind that I got for him anymore and he's totally trashed them. So I'm trying to find some replacements, but I haven't had a lot of luck. Uh, oh, these are the Crocs. So we'll see if they, well, that's pretty soft on the inside. I worry a little bit about the canvas, like rubbing and giving like blisters. Um, we'll see if he likes those. So that's for Papa. He doesn't watch my videos, so don't worry about it. I mean, no one in my family does because, you know, whatever. <sighs> None of my friends watch my videos either. It's like awkward, just awkward. But I have you, so thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Like I said, as much as I'm good at talking to myself, it helps to know I'm talking to someone else once in a while so I don't feel like a total loser. She says that she brandishes the scissors in a fiendish manner. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, yeah. Oh, it says handmade with love. That's so cute. But what's handmade with love? She said open with care, but now it's stuck to the tape. Seriously, what's handmade with love? But it was stuck to the tape, so I had to cut it. Sorry. Like I said, oh, okay, I did not order this, but it's a thingy. Cool. Hopefully I didn't get cut you. Ah. This is a dead sea mineral mud. I didn't really need any of this, except that I wanted one thing, so that was something I got. A thirsty hands, my hands are disgusting. I mean, this is gardening season. You can kind of see like, ew. Like, ew, and I need to trim my nails. I haven't broken yet, so they're just wrong. This is what I actually wanted. And you know I don't like to buy one thing at a time on Poshmark because it's a waste of money for shipping. Well, they didn't wrap it up, but there was didn't link. I had ordered an extra one of these. This stuff I love. This this oil that I got, it was in my last FabFitFun box. And they said, I think they said like the original price was 100 and something or whatever, who knows. They always mark those up to make it seem like their boxes are better, but well, that's my thought that they do. I don't know. Uh, well, that was from Poshmark. So I ordered it just because I liked it and I wanted to get some because it's I've been rubbing it on just as much as I can to try and help make the hands not so scratchy scratchy. Okay, so it was so good to talk to you this week. It was, I just had a few little things to share. I had other videos and things and they just all don't seem important right now. So it's kind of 
I'm trying to figure out what to, how to navigate, what to do, what to figure out, not to be a total, like, yeah. So anyway, there's a lot for me to figure out and it's because I care about people. That's just kind of my stance. That's where I am. That's how I'm trying to navigate and I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. So if you are a friend of mine and you see me saying something stupid or not, like, let me know, like in a nice way, preferably don't be like, oh, you're a total idiot. But like check it it's okay i have a lot of knowledge and a ton more to learn and i make mistakes obviously like forever because yeah i've been super complacent reality i've yeah that's just kind of the reality of my life right now in so many ways and a lot of it was because of my circumstances it just was not something yeah so yeah anyway apparently um doing some different stuff right now and I guess we're gonna have to see what that looks like and hopefully you'll stick around and be part of this like journey that we are all on together and we can talk about it and share information and still resell and have fun and live a life but also hopefully at least recognize that we benefit off the suffering and oppression of others and maybe then work to change that in whatever ways we can I don't know exactly how that's going to look. I'm still trying to figure that out. And I was like, well, I should wait around. I shouldn't post anything. I should not. But if again, if I keep waiting around until I'm perfect or have a perfect answer, I'm never going to post anything. And it's really nice to see all. Like you're kind of my second fun thing. Okay, besides thrifting. And I totally went thrifting. And I don't know if I'm going to do it again anytime soon, which I shouldn't have done in the first place. But oh, yeah. Plus, I blame my mom. We'll talk about that. Anyway, I hope everything's going well for you, that you are doing your best, out there making the world a better place. And for those of you who I can count on week in and week out to be super supportive and just kind of along with me on this goofballish kind of ride that I'm jumping in on and sharing with y'all, I so appreciate you. And I know I have some new followers and subscribers and I can't wait to get to meet you. Please say hello down in the comments. If you are on Poshmark, let me know your closet name. Uh, I did, sh you know, I do shop from my followers' closets when I have an inkling of money to spend or hear that they need something or having a sale because they need to clear out inventory, whatever. You know, and, and I want to do more of that as I can. So say hello so I can say hi back and leave me your closet name so I can follow you. I'm not in a creepy kind of stalker sort of way, but you know, like we're supposed to do on the social media. Because that's the point of social media, right? Is to build up a whole bunch of people who were awesome that you want to hang out with. So thanks for coming to hang out. I hope you're doing okay. I will see you next time.